The Republic XF-12 Rainbow achieved the absolute zenith of piston-powered aircraft design, delivering performance levels that seemed impossible for its era. Born from urgent 1943 wartime requirements, this four-engine reconnaissance aircraft became America's answer for high-altitude, high-speed intelligence gathering over the Pacific theater. The Army Air Corps specified demanding requirements, 400 miles per hour cruise speed, 4,000 mile range, and 40,000 foot ceiling. Republic Aviation approached this challenge with revolutionary aerodynamic thinking centered on absolute drag minimization, creating what Aviation Week called a designer's dream of a no-compromise design with aerodynamic considerations. The sleek, cigar-shaped fuselage featured an uninterrupted profile from sharp, glazed nose to tapered tail. This double windshield configuration used ballistic cap principles, an inner pressurized cockpit screen and outer aerodynamic cone. The thin vertical stabilizer and slightly upward-angled horizontal surfaces avoided wing turbulence. Four Pratt & Whitney R4360 Wasp major engines, each producing 3,500 horsepower from 28 cylinders, powered the rainbow. Republic solved cooling challenges ingeniously using sliding cowl rings that automatically adjusted airflow via thermostats instead of drag-inducing cowl flaps. Two-stage impeller fans behind each propeller enhanced cooling while maintaining aerodynamic cleanliness. The engine nacelles, longer than a complete P-47 fuselage, extended fore and aft of the wing. Air intakes spanning 25% of the wing's leading edge captured high-pressure airflow between engines, providing ram effect for superchargers. Exhaust gases from twin General Electric turbochargers per engine created additional thrust equivalent to 250 horsepower each during high-altitude cruise. Three photographic compartments behind the wing housed 6-inch Fairchild K-17 cameras with electrically heated lenses, preventing frost buildup. For night operations, the aircraft carried 18 high-intensity photo flash bombs in a retractable belly bay. The XF-12's onboard darkroom facilities enabled in-flight film development and printing, eliminating ground processing delays. This flying photo laboratory provided immediate intelligence delivery upon landing. The XF-12's maiden flight on February 4, 1946, revealed performance exceeding all requirements. Test flights achieved 470 miles per hour at 45,000 feet with 4,500 mile range. The aircraft could climb to 25,000 feet on three engines, showcasing remarkable power reserves. Operation Birdseye on September 1, 1948, demonstrated spectacular capabilities. The second prototype photographed the entire continental United States in one flight, capturing 390 individual photographs covering 490 miles each. The six-hour, 55-minute transcontinental flight at 361 miles per hour average produced a 325-foot continuous film strip showcased in Life magazine. Despite exceptional performance, timing doomed the XF-12. The first prototype suffered landing gear failure during testing on July 10, 1947. The second prototype crashed on November 7, 1948, after engine explosion, killing two crew members. Budget constraints, war's end, and emerging jet technology rendered the program obsolete. Boeing's less capable but available RB-29, an upcoming RB-47 Stratojet, fulfilled reconnaissance needs more economically. The surviving prototype flew just one 17 hours from 1949 to 1952 before ending as a target at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland. Republic envisioned the RC-2 airliner variant with extended fuselage accommodating 46 passengers in pressurized luxury. American Airlines and Pan Am showed interest, but without military orders to subsidize development, the RC-2's price exceeded airline budgets. Surplus military transports offered conversion at fraction of new aircraft costs. The XF-12 Rainbow achieved distinction as the fastest four-engine piston aircraft ever built, the only one exceeding 450 miles per hour in level flight. Its aerodynamic perfection represented piston-powered aviation's final flowering before jet-age dominance. Though only two prototypes flew, the Rainbow's technical achievements demonstrated that conventional power plants could achieve seemingly impossible performance through meticulous engineering. This remarkable aircraft remains testament to American engineering excellence and the ultimate expression of piston engine technology.